Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to create a countdown timer on a user form that allows users to decide the duration. Okay, we first go to Developer tab that we click on Visual Basic. After that, we insert the user form. So, for this user form, we show the time length. So, we can change the caption to time left then we need something to show so we can insert the label okay put on the desired place and the desired size okay we can adjust the label ourselves so maybe the color we can change to white and then to have some special effect so let it be sunken okay then the verse will like to make in make it okay so at the middle so what we have to do okay adjust the size so the font size and the type also can be changed so i would like to use the maximum size then we click on OK. So as we can see, it's this big. Okay, because this is countdown timer, so we have to make sure that the space that we need is enough. So we can actually okay type first. So we can have to see enough space. Okay, as as we can see here, it's not enough. Then we adjust accordingly. So to make it better, so I will make sure that the space is on top and bottom exactly the same. So have a better feel. Then as we can see, all together we should have six zeros here, but now only five. So still got one missing, we add large. Okay, until everything is already in, okay, then we adjust the size of the user form accordingly. So that is symmetry. Okay, then to have a better view, we can actually also insert a labor extra extra labor. Okay, for this labor is for the use of like a hash, HP bar. Okay, can show the okay how much of time left. Okay, in graphical way so we can first for this one we should have two so for the first one i will leave it in white and with sunken effect then without any wording so we remove the caption then we insert another one so with the same size exactly the same then for this one we can have another color maybe green okay like the like the hp bar so after that we can make it to rise okay a very important step here is to make sure the show model for this user form is set to be false okay remember to remove the caption so remove okay we've done already so of course we need to uh, provide a space or platform form for the user to enter the time they need so we need another user form so we insert another user form Okay, for this user form, I will change, I will give a title, okay, say the duration, duration, okay, then I need six text boxes to allow user to enter the time that need, so for the text boxes, we can actually adjust the size first, so I will type zero here, Okay, it's important to type the zero first because this is to avoid that user forgot to enter any numbers 
means that I'll leak it empty then we will have problem in running the code so this is important so even user forgot to and the zero the code will still be executed smoothly okay so we just change the font size and the type accordingly so to the our desired mode so we can change the same thing then this one i will just use 16 okay then after that what we have to do we just control press the control control button okay and then we move so it's already copy and i will move again so leave some space here so that i can put the colon the punctuation okay then i will have okay now already enough so i will change adjust the size of the user form okay then we can insert labor okay this one we can type colon okay then we can make a space first then the font size we adjust accordingly okay just now we use 16 now also 16 okay so it's already like a clock okay then of course we need a button so that we can execute the code so we can adjust the size accordingly and the font size okay the font type and the font size so for this one we just change the color okay to have a better look so maybe we can type like start then we increase the font size and the font type so use back the same thing but this one okay so done already adjust the user form so better look okay we can insert the queue in this command button so we just double click okay of course we have to record down all the values or the numbers and live by the user so we have okay simply give a variable a dummy a so a b user form 2 okay because this is user form 2 user form 2 then we read okay let it be a b c d e and f so user form 2 dot text box the first one dot we need the value okay then okay i'm lazy so i just copy and then paste so this one will be b and then for the second text box then after that we'll have C then for the third then we'll have D for the fourth then the fifth A B C D E then an F okay so because I will show the running bar, the HP bar. So I have to know how long it should be and then how many portions should I dis divide. So from here, we have to see the total duration. So I will count in N. So let N be okay, the sum of all the values here. Remember, because A, B, C, d e and f okay is actually with different unit so we have to times the uh, unit okay respectively so for a is the 10 unit it's the 10 unit of other so we have to times 10 so times 10 and then one other we have 60 unit 60 minutes then one minute we have 60 seconds so that's why we have to time 60 and times another 60 so plus b okay is the unit digit so we just have to time 60 times 60 then plus c is the 10 
unit digit of the minute. So we have to do the same things times 10 fifths, then times 60 because it's minute to second 60. Then we plus D, okay, straight away times 60 without time, okay, multiplying the 10 because it's the unit digit. Then plus E, okay, times 10, the 10 digit. Then plus F. Since E and F are the seconds, so we don't have to time 60 anymore. Okay, so we have the end point of D, which is M. Okay, so after recording everything, we can actually unload the user form too. So we can use unload me because the button is on the user form itself. So we can use the word me. Okay, then immediately we call the user form one. One dot show. Okay, then after that, we just have to represent this on the user form one one dot labor the labor one okay dot caption then we just have to change to okay put all the a b c d in so we just have to use emphasize emphasis to join them so a emphasis B, okay so C D E F okay so we just add the emphasis accordingly okay because we need column in between after minute and seconds so we just add extra okay we insert the column first then emphasis Okay, then here another colon. So emphasis. So already recorded. Then we can make use of the forward to run the timer. So for i is equal to 1 to m. Okay, the last second n. So of course we have to wait for one second before we moving to the next round. So application dot wait. Okay, wait for one second. So now we plus one second. Okay, so remember to insert two events. Otherwise, okay, the clip will not be shown. Okay, even it's running, but we may not able to see the effect. Okay, then we have user form. User form one dot labor. Okay, we have the labor here, labor one. So we want to change the caption accordingly. So caption. Okay, now we have to make use of the date app okay, function, but before that we put the format. So it's in the desired format. So format date add. Okay, we want to change according to second, so we use second, then minus one because it's decreasing mode. Then after that, okay, we can copy this one and then paste so it's in the format of other minute and second okay so done then user form again user form one again but this round we should have labor Three, because we want to change the width of the labor three so that is like decreasing okay so width okay just now okay let's check so what is the width size so as we can see 276 so we have 276 so width is equal to 276 
minus 276 with times i over total m okay so if, let's say we want to like provide alert we can actually use the if function so if so we copy the caption label so if this one is less than like okay 11 second so it means that starting from the 10 second so it means that 10 9 8 and so on we will provide a lid okay so i will use the 11 second so okay then we can have a bit sound to alert the user so and if okay done already so next i okay so the code is already done we can now see the output okay before that we can actually insert a command button so that we can call the okay timer so we can first change the caption to set timer okay so we can decide again design then we change the font size okay bigger then maybe bold okay then what we have to do next double click so this one we have to call the second user form because the second user form will recall the the time dot show okay now let's run so remember to unclick the design mode so we set timer okay maybe like we set for 15 seconds so one five okay then we start so 13 4 12 11 okay as you can hear the pit sound because it's already less than 11 seconds so let's say like after 10 seconds we would like to have okay the the color bar okay the the hp bar turn to red okay then we can try and see okay we go back to the code okay before that we can actually unload the user form after the times is up so unload okay this round we cannot use unload me because unload me is only for the user form 2 because the command button is on user form 2 so what we have to do here is unload user form 1 okay then of course we can give a message message box okay the times is up so times up okay then if let's say less than uh, 11 seconds means that starting from the 10 seconds we can actually change the color so this is user form one dot labor three okay dot black color so black color black color and we have equal to VB red okay then check again so we can set okay maybe we try another 15 seconds so start so as we can see it's green initially then after when we reach the 10 second okay change to red okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you